A class at Spring Lake Park High School is bringing students out of the classroom and onto a job site. Danica Peterson has a look at the construction class that will be building an entire house this year. There's about 40 students across two sections of Scott Wicklin's construction trades class. We started with safety. Safety was our number one. Like, how do you operate yourself on a job site where you're not going to get hurt? Because as soon as you're hurt, then all production stops. So we start with safety, and then we go to measurement. How do you use a tape measure effectively and make cuts that are square and how to get angles correctly? Before the end of the school year, these students will build the entire house, from framing to tiling and trimming and painting. Well, nearly the entire house. Those are the only two pieces that we won't do is, is the electrical work, because you have to have a licensed electrician, and the plumber. But this week, they're learning how to get the walls up. Building, the framing, learning the names of the stuff, actually doing it. Just a lot of framing stuff, nailing patterns, stuff like that. That's what I've learned. A class like this was offered many years ago, and the students at the time built some houses that neighbor the high school. Several seniors told us that this class and this style of learning really appeal to them. I, I struggle sitting down in a classroom. I like working with my hands too. Um, so this class kind of just stood out to me. Just being outside, working with my hands, I don't, I mean, not really knack for anything else. It's just this, I mean, I, I, I don't have to, if I don't have to take in any other class, I would just take this one. Wicklin says that kids come into the class with different backgrounds and different career goals. But through this class, he sees some career goals change. So the number of kids that are interested in the trades is growing the longer they're in this class. So they, I, I think if you would have asked them the first day, it would probably be maybe five or six of them are like, yep, this is my career I want to go into. And now it's about half of them are, half of the, tw there's 20 out here right now. About 10 of them are like, this is something, I want to go into something in the trades now because I know I can have a career in it and I can make, be successful in it and I, I enjoy the work. And that's why I wanted to take this too, is because I could get an image of what I'd be doing as a career. It's a class with clearly visible results and clear evidence of education. At the end of the day, they go, this is a wall that we put together and it's square and it's true. I know it's going to sit upright. I think they really enjoy seeing how far we've come because we started on day one with getting these piers delivered on the first day of school and now we're about ready to set up a wall today. It's just fun to see the kids enjoy every piece of that. This class is part of the high school's career and college readiness program. It introduces students to skills needed for careers ranging from construction to video game design to nursing. What I'm excited about is opening them up to, okay, how do you do sheetrock? How do you do some electrical? And they can watch the electricians do it. And, and if they find a niche that they really like, well then we'll connect them with people that, that'll, that'll open doors for them. Everybody should take this class. It teaches you life skills, teaches you how to interact with people properly, teaches you um, how to be a leader, um, and how to be a follower too. You gotta know how to do both, and it just it's a great way to learn that. Learn that. For North Metro TV News, Danica Peterson, reporting. What you guys did, well done. That's pretty awesome, right? Yeah. Gosh, it feels good. This project is receiving funds from a local builder. Once the house is built. The builder will move the home to a property, add a basement, and then sell the house for cost.